I mean, growing up uh, in the 80s, 90s, there weren't many uh, female clergy in my diocese. Um, so we were blessed in my childhood parish to actually be of assistance to help form uh, one such uh, young lady and to be a part of her ordination service and witness her be ordained was just so significant and meaningful and impactful. And it stayed with me for such a long time. So to be able to be ordained and offer my gifts and skills um, is, is just mind blowing. I grew up Episcopalian, was always active in church, loved being of service, uh, loved hanging out, um, working with the kids, um, hanging out with some of my seniors. Church was always a part of my life, but it wasn't until I was working as a parish administrator, actually, uh, that the rector of the parish asked me, you know, have I ever thought about the priesthood? And uh, <laughs> I thought it was joking <laughs> in all essence. Uh, but no, he encouraged me to pray about it, discern it, and I did. And, um, you know, a little, was a little hesitant at first. I didn't really think uh, that's where God was calling me, but again, after some prayer and I think when I stopped running from what God was, was trying to show me, uh, did I truly embrace the call? And, you know, even on the hardest day, I, and I think, what else could I be doing? The answer is nothing else. This is exactly where God wants me to be. Uh, it's, it's, it's a blessing. Um, it's a vocation and ability that I don't take for granted. Um, you know, we've made so much strides just for having women to be ordained, uh, but especially women of color. Again, growing up, I didn't necessarily see that. So to be able to reflect that for those in my congregation and those coming after me uh, is truly, truly a blessing. Um, and I think it's the ability to have my gifts and skills and voice be heard, um, affirmed, and to know that gender or race uh, do not disqualify you from being called uh, to spread the gospel. I think of when I first came out of seminary and was being placed in my first parish, um, my bishop did share, you know, for some of the men on the vestry, it, you know, it was a first for them. And, um, and I, I can understand that, and especially with some of their passions around youth ministry and making sure that, you know, everyone felt I guess they would have some sort of representation or mentorship for both uh, young uh, girls and boys. So the question was, well, what would a female priest bring to that? Um, so again, it's, it's, it's just the bumping up of, this isn't the tradition I grew up seeing, right, from the male perspective. Um, but, you know, again, God called me. Um, and so regardless of being a woman, I'm, I'm able to relate to our teens and, and young adults and offer a fresh perspective that, you know, again, it doesn't matter. What's your message to young women, you know, discerning a call to ordain ministry? I would say it would be to pray. Um, do it afraid, do it scared. It is, it is a scary thing, um, but know that your gifts matter, that you have a voice that deserves to be heard um, you have a perspective that deserves to be shared. God is calling you for a purpose and a time such as this. I think it's important to surround yourself with uh, a circle, a um, community that's gonna pray for you, walk with you, support you, even on the good and the most challenging of, of days. But just know and believe uh, that God has called you.